What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, we have another daily market update, but before we get into that, I want to talk about the recent uh bullshit that has happened to me uh and to us basically. Uh my public open C was hacked. Okay? My public open C wallet was hacked. And uh, I lost some very good NFTs, some very rare NFTs. I don't even want to think about which ones I lost. We're just moving on, right? Minor setback for major comeback. But I did lose a lot of, of NFTs that I did not want to lose, okay? Also, the Telegram channel, the Gold Squad Telegram channel uh, was hacked last night while I was sleeping. So if you think an un unconscious person was supposed to warn people while they were unconscious, um, you're kind of crazy, right? So as soon as I woke up, I warned everybody that it was hacked. Um, this telegram was hacked. Absolutely disgusting. I am very sorry to anybody affected by this. But what I hope was that I've educated you enough over this past year and a half to recognize that that was a scam file that was posted in there. Um, however, I do recommend everybody do a deep clean slash scan with their virus thing um, if if you did download the file. If you didn't touch the file, you're good. Just but be, still, I would do it. Just be careful. Um, so let's get into... And by the way, we have this new Gold Squad community on Twitter. We're going to talk about this because this, this thing lit up when that telegram was hacked. Um, and you guys can go join this, right? I will leave the link in the top link of the description. Okay, top link. So go to the description, click on this, um, and you can join the Gold Squad community on Twitter. And basically what this allows you to do is like tweet to the Gold Squad community. We're, we're almost at a thousand members, right? Almost at a thousand members. And you can get some exposure too here. It, this is not for self-promotion. Uh, you will be banned if you just directly self-promote yourself. Right. If you just say, buy my token, this is my project, buy it. Here's my you will re get removed from the community. This is not for self-promotion. Uh, this is just for sharing. And look at this. As you can see, when the telegram got hacked, a lot of people, a lot of people said, don't download this. Right. Telegram is hacked. So this is proving to be a very useful resource. Make sure you join up right there. Um, and just say hello, say hello. So you can literally, if I click tweet right here, see, I can tweet to everybody or I can tweet to the gold squad right there. Already almost a thousand members. Amazing. So let's move into the daily market update. Enough with the sadness, um, about, uh, getting hacked. Bitcoin is at $30,000, right? Down 4.5%. ETH is down 5.84% extremely standard stuff right we are essentially in a very boring market right now 1.2 trillion dollars um we've got luna i don't even like terra luna is down 32 percent right now waves has went down a little bit from ten dollars most altcoins are red today uh btc is coming back down right so i've i said like in yesterday's video and i said on my tiktok live stream yesterday that Bitcoin is not going to last above, you know, at these levels of 32,000. So we've came right back down to 30,000. And I do expect that we drop below 30,000. However, I do not want us to drop below 30,000. I think it's actually pretty crucial that Bitcoin stays above 30,000. But if it doesn't, we're just going to be in that same range that we've been in uh, all the way right here. Right. Very simple stuff. Boom, like probably just like that. You know, I don't think June is going to be that good either. I don't think June is going to be that bullish uh, either. So there's my uh, thoughts on Bitcoin right there. Uh, oh, shoot. We just removed all that. Put that back. Now, the SEC. Okay, really Fox business. So we can, we can see the title though. <clears throat> SEC leaders with nearly 50 years of experience are quitting under Gary Gensler's tenure. Okay, and I can probably guarantee you, uh, I can probably guarantee you that um, these do these people that are quitting are part of the Trump 
uh, they were appointed by Trump, right? Look at this. All of these people are leaving right here. And they have years and years of experience in the SEC. And this is most likely because they don't like what Gary Facebook Gensler is about to do uh, with the yesterday. SEC. More than half a, or, or more than a dozen staff attorneys have also left the agency. Okay. From the securities and is that playing? Oh, my. Was that playing right there? I think it was. Uh, but more, more than a dozen staff attorneys have left the agency. Absurd, right? Because they know uh, what's going to happen uh, with the SEC. The SEC is about to either like fail or, and fall and crumble and get exposed, or they're about to come at crypto very hard and nobody's going to like them and nobody's going to want to be an SEC official. Nobody already wants to be an SEC uh, employee at all. Nobody wants to be that because you just get railed and you get hated on by everybody. Now, wow, these these ads are crazy, bro. But I already read this story, so I do know what this is talking about. The tech experts, uh, some tech experts, by the way, it's only 26, 26 tech experts, tech experts, <laughs> urge Washington to resist crypto industry's influence. So basically, they're, they they show that how much lobbying that the crypto industry has done um, for for the crypto industry. And the tech experts are now trying to convince uh, gov the government to basically resist the crypto industry's uh, influence. And th this is just showing you that the, these people are stupid, right? These people are, are against... Anybody who's against crypto is essentially pretty dumb, right? In my opinion. Um, and against innovation. Now, here is the, the clip I wanted to show right here. Two-minute clip. Very worth watching. This guy is actually the vice president of Ripple X, um, central bank engagements and CBDCs. His name is James Wallace, and he's giving a talk right here. Um, and there's a two-minute clip. We're going to watch the whole thing. So take a look at this clip of, of the uh, vice president of Ripple X right here. No currencies in terms of native cryptos like XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, you know, they're not all the same, right? They're not all created equal. The, um, I think what's becoming much more popular in the industry now is more sustainable technologies. So the XRP ledger and XRP is, um, there's no mining or proof of, stake of work, proof of work or proof of stake involved. So the, 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 the computational cost of, uh, you know, validating transactions is almost zero, right? Very, very low cost and very stable in terms of in terms of pricing. Um, stable coins, again, not all created equal. Um, you have a massive range from the algorithmic type stable coins. You know, we all know the Terra story from a few weeks ago. Uh, and then now what we're seeing emerging is, um, you know, stable coins being issued by regulated entities. So. I can't give you the names yet, but there's two projects we're working on, one in the UK and one in the US, working with banks that are regulated um, who will be issuing stable coins and the reserves um, will likely to be held at a central bank in a central bank account. So very different. Are you hearing what this dude is saying? He's saying that Ripple is working with banks in the US and UK to issue stable coins with reserves more than likely held in central bank accounts. Different from the algorithmic uh, stable And coin. those are different from the algorithmics. You know, we, we as Ripple work across all of these technologies. And then of course, your central bank digital currencies, which uh, essentially is the, um, the highest form of digital currency, right? Issued by the central bank, backed by the central bank, the most secure form. Um, as a company who's working across the payment space, you know, we're embracing all of these. We see they will all play their part in the future of, of money. Um, I mean, today, cryptocurrency is less than 1% of all the money. Central bank money is less than 10%. The rest is all commercial bank money. So it will be interesting to see, you know, in five or 10 years, you know, how does that look when it's all digitized? You know, will stable coins be 90% of the market and CBDCs 10%? Or will CBDCs actually be allowed to grow and be a much higher percentage of the money supply? I, I don't know. That's for the policy makers to decide. So even he does not have an answer for that. So that's how like foggy this whole thing is uh, of what stable, what percentage stable coins versus CBDCs will have of the market, right? So crazy. Obviously, stable coins 
are ahead of central bank digital currencies right now, technically. Um, but I think that's a great clip. They literally say that Ripple is working with, and this is a recent clip, and you know that because he mentioned the Terra Luna situation. This is a recent clip. Um, so he mentioned that the U.S. and the U.K. is working, or sorry, Ripple is working with banks in the U.S. and U.K. to issue stable coins. So is there a new Ripple stable, a new Ripple issued stable coin coming right through these central banks, basically? Um, and are they going to call it a stable coin or a CBDC, et cetera? And, and I think, uh, and by the way, this is on Leonidas XRP Arcade. This is one of the best XRP channels to watch. Um, and you can watch this whole talk right there. And I have not watched the talk. I'll be transparent. I've only watched that clip, but I'm assuming this talk would be great to, to keep understanding uh, stable coins versus central bank digital currencies. Now, Ledger, some good news. Um, HBAR has just been added to Ledger Live. I, I forget if I covered this yesterday. I, I don't think I did. Um, but this is the latest coin to be added to Ledger Live. Um, so you can send and receive this on Ledger Live. I do think you still need to do the BS process with my HBAR wallet to get your HBAR onto your Ledger. Full transparency here, I do not hold my HBAR on my Ledger. I hold my HBAR on my Descent hardware wallet and in other locations. Okay, I don't use the ledger for it. I have not done that whole process, right? But this is very cool. Ledger Live enabled. Um, we do have an XRP lawsuit update here. There is a new conference scheduled for Tuesday, June 7 at 3 p.m. And this is to discuss the SEC's renewed assertion of the attorney-client privilege as to internal documents related to Hinman's speech. So there's a, con a new conference in person. They're doing an in-person conference um, as uh, regarding internal documents related to Hinman's speech. Very, very weird. Um, this guy basically, Fred, says that uh, Netburn, the judge, can also take attorneys back to her office, So, which is called in-chambers for off-the-record discussions. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Hopefully it's live streamed. I don't know if it will be or anything, um, but you guys can check this out right here. No call in information was listed. Okay. It's an in-person conference only, right? So we're not going to be able to watch this. We're just going to see the headlines come out of it. Now, very interesting update for IOTA right here. IOTA, um, is having the Stardust upgrade. Now, if we look at IOTA, I do hold IOTA. I do have a big chunk of IOTA that is stuck in their old wallet and they will not let me move it. I, I can't figure out how to move it. I've tried everything to move that IOTA out of there. It is stuck. Um, so that has made me hate a little, I uh, hate IOTA a little bit because they don't let me get that out. And it's a, it's a substantial amount. Um, 34 cents right now, right? 100% of the circulating supply is in circulation. You know, decent coin. It's kind of a, it's kind of an old one. It's kind of like a clunky one that that is just there. You know, but this Stardust upgrade seems pretty dang cool. Basically, there's going to be an entire new token called Shimmer, uh, which is the ticker symbol is going to be, um, uh, what was it, SHM or something? But the point here is, there's a new, um, there's a new. There's a completely new like project here called Shimmer. And basically this allows you, uh, the smart contracts are not actually executed directly on the layer ones. They're actually anchored, um, which allows them to use a little, only a little percentage of the network. Um, as you can see right here, theoretically there could be hundreds of these smart contract chains allowing for as much capacity as builders need. All of them are anchored to Shimmer or IOTA <clears throat> using a fraction of these networks capacity, just enough to anchor them by publishing information. So they're like anchoring it to the blockchain. They're actually not like on it, which is pretty interesting. Big Stardust upgrade. You guys can um, read through this. It's a lot more than what I just said, but basically it fixes the bridging problem. Um, it does a lot of different stuff. So you guys can read up on that. All I care about is that IOTA finally has an upgrade 
and or, or so, they finally have something going on and i just hope this pumps the price a little bit uh even though i can't get my my iota out first crypto etfs in australia see trading evaporate australia got its first exchange traded products linked to bitcoin and ether last month and investors reacted with a shrug okay they launched on may 12 they saw just 2000 shares change hands on its debut day this is not good right and that makes sense although there was ether ones which scares me right there should be a lot of ether hype there should not be a lot of bitcoin hype and and these institutions should switch their focus to ether in my opinion so that's a little bit of mainstream news there from australia also have some more mainstream apple's upcoming developer conference sparks rumor of nft trading cards uh, there's a worldwide developer conference in 2022 hosted by Apple. It will be on June 6 to 10. So that's coming up. And basically, there's been some previews right here of what look like trading cards. And of course, everyone's assuming that these are going to be NFT trading cards. Because when you click on them, they go into augmented reality, right? Uh, as you can see, the, the real background right there. It's like the camera background. Um and these are using the Memoji things. A lot of people are saying they're similar to the RTFKT, CloneX, VFriends, etc. Dude, I'm so sad I lost my VFriends series 2 in that hack. I got hacked, right? And I lost the VFriends. That's one of the ones. I lost my VFriends series 2. And, dude, I can't even talk about it. Um... So th this could be interesting. This could pump the NFT space a little bit. It's simply rumors right now. Then we've also got the Cardano community being bullish uh, because there's an upcoming Vazel hard fork um, as Cardano leads crypto major. So that this is, I finally understand why Cardano has been pumping. The Vazel hard fork is, um, is coming up. Vazel upgrade, whales are getting in before the hype. Uh, the upgrade, which is likely to launch before Ethereum's merge, seeks to improve Plutus, uh, which is the Cardano smart contract platform, by allowing greater speed and scalability. Okay. Apart from the Vazel upgrade, Cardano's users are optimistic about the Jed, uh, the Jed token launch. Jed will be Cardano's native stablecoin and will be powered by Cody. Okay, so Co bullish on Cody right there. And Jed is going to be Cardano's stablecoin. Very interesting. Last thing we're going to cover here is FTX surpassing Coinbase as the second biggest centralized crypto exchange in May. Now, one thing I want to show you. Guess who's the number one still? Binance has 64.1% of that share of the big of the market. They have 64.1%. Then, then it's FTX at 10.8%. Then it's Coinbase at 9.6, okay, during the month. So that, that's pretty crazy right there. That is all we've got for the daily market update. Make sure, once again, you join the new Gold Squad uh, Twitter community right here. Already almost at 1,000 members. Uh, top line of the description. Make sure you're following on Instagram, Telegram, all that bullshit. All the influencer bullshit. I love every single one of you, and goodbye. <laughs>